Biological invasions are among the main drivers of global change. Although there is a large number of introduced species, only a few of them become invasive. So, what could be happening? Invasive species establish novel interactions with local species and these interactions condition the success of an invasion. Ants are one of the most abundant and diverse groups of insects, and they are found in almost all terrestrial ecosystems. Therefore, the interaction of ants with exotic species in the recipient community is highly probable. In the Patagonian steppe, thistles are an exotic species widely distributed that establishes positive and negative interactions with native ants. Its seeds have a nutritious tissue that attracts omnivorous ants, helping seed dispersal. Ants carry the seeds for long distances, allowing thistles to colonize new areas, reducing parental competition and reaching sites and rich in nutrients, such as nest or refuse dumps. Further, another ant species, which is a leaf cutter, also has nutrient and rich nests that favor the establishment, growth and reproduction of thistles. However, these ants are thistal herbivores and they could negatively affect plant performance. Apart from leaf herbivores, thistles are attacked by sub-feeding insects, such as aphids, which limit plant resources affecting seed production. These aphids excrete sugary drops that attract ants of varying levels of aggressiveness that acts as bodyguards against aphid natural enemies, such as ladybugs and surfeit larvae. As a consequence, the most aggressive ant bodyguards increase aphid populations, further reducing distal reproduction. In summary, understanding the trade-off between positive and negative interactions that distal establish with native ants can help explain the success of invasions.